what we know about SRSF2 is that it's, um, uh, its frequency is extremely high, especially in CMML. Its frequency can be up to 50%. We know that it probably happens early on in the disease evolution. And we know for, from at least three studies that it has some prognostic relevance. So we think it's an important gene. But the question is, what is that mutation doing? And one thing that we think is really intriguing is that even though the frequency of this mutation is extremely high, the location of the mutation is at a, a single proline, at proline 95. And so we think that from a structural perspective and from a molecular biology perspective, uh, it may be doing something very specifically. And so we have an abstract here um, trying to identify the consequence of that mutation on that protein's exact function, which is essentially to bind RNA and aggregate in nuclear organelles called speckles. And what we think we show, uh, this is obviously preliminary data, but what we think we show is that these mutations actually increase the affinity of um, RNA binding and augment the uh, nuclear speckle dynamics such that it may be that you know, further experiments will show that this mutation actually increases the activity of SRSF2. And really the whole goal of this project is if we know that this is a quote unquote gain of function mutation, can we target it? Um, can we develop SRSF2 direct inhibitors or other inhibitors of the spicing pathway to, um, you know, to test whether this is a cellular vulnerability? Because we really think it's an important gene mutation. And I think the abstract that we're presenting is the first step in that you know, kind of lofty goal that we have, but, but an important one that we need to talk about.